230-odd years ago, there were about 250 languages spoken on this continent. Today, spoken and taught comprehensively, there are 20. The oldest surviving uh, culture on the planet. It's an oral system, so it essentially relies upon language. So language becomes the vessel in which both memory, values and beliefs are contained. If you can't give children back the language and culture that links to their own country, then all you're doing is promoting more sorry business. If we can do language and culture every week and with the kids and do deeper knowledge and yeah. start making those connections to our relationships to everything around us, whether it's the stars, it's the, the soil, the um, people, the animals, plants around us, then they're getting deeper knowledge. The most important thing is that we work in partnership with Aboriginal community. We have actually researched more than 6,000 words of the Yorah. Wow. Been a few years going into that. It's been good for us. Or well, Aboriginal people living in this state have been able to hold on to our identity, despite the fact that there has been so much taken. For some time, it was looked like it was like a museum piece, and we were talked like it was a museum piece, but it's a living thing.